Hi everyone, this is Sarah from Ocean Dreams, and I am going to be offering Sun, Moon, and Ascendant readings for the end of the year, and going into the new year as well. So what I do is first I connect to a oil, and this one that I have forth is bring forth is Ocean Pine, and Ocean Pine. If you want, just close your eyes and imagine standing on a cliff at the edge of the ocean, overlooking the sea, surrounded by beautiful pine trees around you. You could smell their crisp, clean scent on the wind, and you could feel the spray of the ocean washing over you, clearing your aura, opening your heart chakra, your throat, even your nasal passages, your third eye, and your crown, and cleansing your entire aura, filling you with peace and love and grounding. And then I also bring in the energy of sage or Palo Santo. And I just happen to have some sage with me right now. So we're asking for the sage to help clear our space and to help clear the cards that we're going to be working with and to clear your aura as well and your energy. And they work together, the sage and the ocean pine, to help us be open to receive benevolent messages from source, from our guides, from spirit, helping our um, intuition, our awareness to be more present. And then what I do is I shuffle the deck and I ask for a card for our sun, moon, and ascendant. So this is going to be a general reading for everybody for the end of the year, going into the beginning of the new year. So what does everyone's sun sign need to hear? And we get the Selkies, the Selkies and her skin. And this talks about reclaiming your authenticity. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hmm. I just did three back-to-back -back readings, so my throat's starting to go. <laughs> but reclaiming your authenticity, right? Being true to yourself and in, in relation to your sun sign. So, for example, I'm Scorpio. So being true to my Scorpio self, you know, tapping into those qualities of Scorpio um, that make me who I am. Maybe that I've pushed aside for a while, need to bring back forth into this present moment. And this card also is the number 25. So you could add up two plus five to get seven and see if there's another meaning behind it that resonates with your sun sign. It could be maybe your sun sign is in the seventh house. So look up the meaning of, you know, seventh house for um, that sign. So I could look up seventh house and see if Scorpio is there or um, how would Scorpio energy play out with my seventh house? Um, 25 is actually um, the day I was born on, so that kind of represents my sun energy, right? Just kind of turned out that way. So a message to me for my sun sign would be stepping into that Scorpio power. So next, let's see what comes up for our moon signs, okay? And... Um, the card that came up was vulnerability and the number is 39 so you could do 3 plus 9 is 12 and break that down to a 3 um, so you have that 3 energy you know working with the land, sea and sky, sun, moon, ascendant, um, mother, maiden, crone, whatever it is that you resonate with when you think of the number 3, right? And it speaks of vulnerability, opening your heart and allowing yourself to be tender. And our moon signs deal with our emotions, right? And so that truly resonates with, um, resonates with opening your heart and allowing yourself to 
just feel, you know, feel that energy, delve into our moon sign. So my moon sign is Pisces, right? So Pisces is a water sign dealing with that water emotional energy, you know, so where in your chart, when you go to look at your moon sign, where can you allow yourself to be vulnerable to allow yourself to be cared for by others and to bring in those changes? You know, let the emotions flow. Sometimes they have to flow. We have to cry it out. We have to learn to let go so we could create new beginnings in our life, make room for those new things. So look to your moon sign for that. So our next card is for our ascendant. And ascendant is our rising sign. So at the time of our birth, you know, where the sun was on the horizon. And our ascendant usually deals with like how um, others see us in the world, you know, how their first impressions that they get of us, you know. So for our ascendants, what do you need to know? All right. Ooh, this card came up earlier in a reading for someone else as well. So number seven, okay? So look up the, the numero, numerological meaning for the number seven. And number seven speaks of freedom and independence and self-determination. And so freedom kind of, that, and the sun, you know, is rising right in the sky, or maybe for some it's setting, depending on how you look at it. But kind of makes me think of that ascended energy, you know, and freedom, being free to be who we are, independent. You know, ascended is, you know, you rising into the world, you as a new being, you know, a new beginning, in, even in your parents' life, right? Um, and so how, how are you going to let that freedom, that independence, that self-determination play out in your life? Um, so look to your ascended energy. Uh, my ascendant is Aquarius, so that's an air sign, right? So breathing, you know, breathing in new life in, into um, my being, my purpose, you know, and how I present myself to others, right? Um, so many people might see me as someone who's like, kind of like a, a free-willed and just, you know, independent and does her own thing. Aquarius is the rebel, right? And we're going into the age of Aquarius. So that kind of plays along with my ascendant energy as well. So look to your ascendant and see where in your life are you ready to break free? You know, break free in the mold that everyone else has shoved you into. Where can you be more independent and be that rebel and decide, you know, um, how you're gonna play your life in um, 2022 in the future so that's just kind of like a quick reading to give you an idea of how the sun and moon ascendant readings are going to go um looks like my video is a little tilted there but that's okay <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed that. Let me know um, how that resonated with you. If you don't know what your sun, moon, ascendant is, all you need is your birth date, your time, and your birthplace. And you could go to like um, astro.com or I think it's alabe.com. And there's you could even just type in Google free birth chart and then you just need that information um, to type it in and it'll give you a chart showing what your um, sun moon ascendant and other planets are in or if you like someone else to do that for you because you're not so techy I do offer that service I could pull up your chart and I even like to give a little bit of crystal recommendations according to your um, birth chart your signs so that's um, a service I offer for $33 um, and I will email you the PDF of your chart of the crystals I recommend and a little printout of all um, your signs and what houses they are in, all that good stuff. So um, let me know if you're interested in that. Otherwise, if you're interested in the reading, the Sun, Moon, Ascendant readings are $33, and I'll be working on those um, through the beginning of the new year. So um, let me know. I hope... I hope you have a beautiful new year and just remember, you know, look to look to the stars, look to your signs and see how you can create beautiful new changes in your life. 
sending you many blessings, thanking you for being here watching, thanking our guides for um, being here to um, protect us and for the energy of the universe to surround us all, bringing in peace, love, and happiness for the rest of the year. Bye.